I'm on a road trip from Phoenix to San Diego today and I thought it'd be a perfect time to showcase some of the features on my new phone that I received uh, just under a week ago, still playing around with it. It's the um, G1 Android phone uh, from T-Mobile. It's been released almost about a year already and um, I believe more than a year. And as you can see, I've got it currently on the GPS function. The little blue arrow that you can see moving across the the image here on the map is actually our vehicle as it's traveling down the freeway here. And let me put this down. And as you can see, the G1 does have a, a touch screen interface. It's currently, let's sort of zoom in here. Oop. Let's do that again. There we go. And the map is updated. I, I've got it on the satellite view. Here's the road as we're approaching it. Just thought it'd be fun as we look up and see ourselves coming up. So here's a, an intersection, a freeway underpass that we're approaching. And there's the underpass. We just passed it. Right there. And that's what we just passed right there. So this is indeed a live uh, GPS image. And it's interesting to see how far in we can actually zoom in. This is overlaid on the Google Maps. And obviously the closer I zoom in, the faster I've got to go to catch up. One little thing is that uh, the screen does not seem to follow the, the location that you're in, the little blue arrow, so I've got to keep scrolling and sliding my finger across the screen. Oop, there's another underpass. We just passed that. So that's what we just passed right there. Let's kind of zoom out. There we are. Just hit the menu button on the phone. Pull up the menus. There's the map mode. I currently have it on the satellite view. Obviously, we can put it on the familiar map view, which gives you the straight-on rows and outlines of the um, geography. Let's sort of zoom out here. There we go. Okay. Pressing here, and then it gives you a step-by-step -step, uh, on the major key points where you'd want to turn, where you'd want to head off down the road, and just hit the menu and get back. We can also get back to the map view. We can also update our current status on the map. The purple shows um, our uh, the current route that we're taking, and as you can see, we started up here in this area of the map. And we can update it where the the route that it shows uh, updates to our location. Our location is currently right there, and I'll show you what that means. What what that'll do? I hit the menu again, and it's uh, this option right here, where it says update update route. And so. Looks like I just got a text message. And what that does, let's zoom in. Yeah, see? And so now the route has been updated where the starting point is where we're currently at and it continues to trace where we should go from our point on forward. So, that's how that works. Only on the 85 going south towards the, the Highway 8. And I'm going to switch it back to the map view, to the satellite view. As far as the GPS functionality, I mean, it's working now. You can see 
the little arrow just moving as we're as we're humming along the as we're going down the terrain. And I can zoom in a little closer. And obviously, the closer we get, the faster the little arrow moves as it's getting a little closer. Now I've got it on my actual phone communication. It's currently showing that the GPS is on. It's a little icon right there. And that is connected via, I think it's on the edge network for now since we're on the interstate. But we were still in the Phoenix metro area, it was showing a 3G for the 3G connection. And um, pretty nifty to have. I haven't actually gone to the the Android mar mar marketplace just yet to look for any uh, specialized GPS software. This is just the, the one that's built into the G G1 phone that's part of the actual map software and I'll take you back to the home screen where we can see and there it is right there it's just the the standard Google Maps Let's see if I can get a little clearer here there it goes just the standard Google Maps app that comes with the G1 phone and that's all it is.